You ask the questions. What do I got to do? This is all your paintings here? No, there's about a couple of hundred paintings stored in Hanover, Massachusetts. They will be on a website, williamokeefe.com, in about a month. You'll have to check them out. When I first saw you, I just wanted to film you because you're such an unusual looking character. But Really? No, I pretty you're much a musician? Think I like a monster most check of the time. Check out your pants. Yeah, I've taken my pants, yeah, some nice pants. I bet those yeah. pants are worth some money. That's yeah, like I've heard that, I've, I, and I have, and I thought, well, maybe it's a good idea to do that. And this is your art, your yeah, that's what I'm painting, painting stuff yeah. here? The new one is the, the two women over there, so it's, it's a new painting. So, you know, I paint out here, and uh, some folks sell uh, by them. And in the meantime, I'm working on some new uh, songs. So, biding my time. So, uh, what have you become famous overnight? I don't even think about that. <laughs> it never occurs to me. I'm so busy painting and doing my music. I'm in my head. So I never even think about that kind of thing. That's probably why I'm still out here. What's the name of your guitar? It's a uh, Fender. Don't you have a pretty, name? Pretty middle of the road thing. Don't you have a name for Acoustic it? Acoustic electric. Not yet. Can you name it? Like right now, live? Can you name uh, your guitar? I'd probably call it Walkster. Mrs. Walkster. Mrs. Walkster. Yeah. Are these your two fans? I don't know. They. Hi. So what do you what do you think of this guy over here? I think this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like, what if he becomes famous? Will you want to be one of his groupies? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna do a song? Can you write a song just for these girls, like right off the hook? Just off I don't know, right top there. of your head. <laughs> the girl with the camera and the. <laughs> That's great. Two girls with the camera on a Saturday afternoon. That kind of thing? Yeah, let's do that. And Come by Harvard Square to hear me sing my little tune. Action. <laughs> Is that alright? Let's start I it. think they're looking at my paintings, but I don't know what's on their mind. Maybe they're interested in taking one or two pieces home. How much are these paintings? Ah, they're, they're, I didn't rhyme with that last word. That's a bummer. How much are these paintings? There, I, I ask around uh, one twenty-five for them in that area. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five to dollar fifty, and you can grab them all. Especially <laughs> buck twenty-five, hundred and twenty-five dollars, averaging for those paintings. Yeah. If I had hundred twenty-five dollars, I'd take these two ladies for a nice dinner. Yeah, well, you're thinking, you're thinking, man. <laughs> See you later, girls. So, what's going on with you? What are you, what are you doing? I'm just a bum. I'm just. Uh, but I'm going to be rich and famous one day, like you. How's that? And how am I going to be? Because uh, I, I've never seen anyone like you. You're, you're very. I'd like to know what's going on inside there. Your, 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 the mind of yours. Like when I get in there, find out all about you right now. <laughs> when I see someone like you, I want to capture them. I feel pretty, uh, pretty normal. There's nothing normal about you. You're awesome. Don't know about that. I spent all my time for the past 30 years uh, writing songs and painting pictures. I know exactly what's happened for 30 straight years. 22 pay painting and the rest of those years doing music behind the scenes. All you need is Matt Lauer to buy one of your paintings and you'll be famous. Matt Lauer? Who is it? The guy in the Today Show. Oh, oh, today? I don't know. I don't have a TV set. I haven't watched TV in probably a decade. Seriously. I never watch it. That stuff, this is really beautiful. Well, there's simple ideas to keep uh, prices down here. I mean, I can't get, if I get too involved in the pieces, then I'm going to, you know, keep them or charge a higher price. I'm not going to get do that you take, of uh, money, so. Do you take rubber checks? My uncle sent me one from California once. I, I was laughing, I'll tell you. I opened the envelope and I said, look at this. He's such a great dude. And I picked the check up and it was a freaking rubber check. Hilarious. He's like 70 in San Francisco. He runs the poetry out there. He still keeps it alive on the streets. And he, of course he knows I paint. His dad painted. But I did get fooled with that rubber check. That was a good one. So what's the moral of the story? Um, you know, just do what you're doing. Moral of what story? This story, the whole picture, the whole thing, our meeting. Just open-mindedness. I just have an open mind. If God I didn't, I'd bless America. Say, I don't like uh, a lot of folks taking my picture as it is.
Every time I see a photo of myself, it looks scary and haunted. And you are scary yeah, and haunted. Yeah, I am. You are right. So and I don't like to see it on a photograph, so mostly I shy away from photos. Yeah, but... But you're getting away with it because, well, obviously, why you... Yeah, but the thing is... I get a cheeseburger. Because too. you're scary and awesome, you make life interesting. Someone set you up for this? Someone sent you over here? Nope.